In my hometown, there was this church that had a pretty good reputation, and I had known people who went there in high school and they loved it, and I started listening to their new pastor and found it to be really good. So I was excited, decided to go there, and I just remember pulling into the parking lot, and the flags that were flying didn't scream to me that I was welcomed and seen for who I am. And I grew up um, in a conservative evangelical uh, environment, and um, as a as a gay man growing up in that environment, I, I can see now looking back that it it sowed shame inside of me. I remember very vividly being asked to come into one of the pastor's offices and I was let go from my volunteer music ministry in the church because I accepted others that they didn't. So it led me to a place where I didn't really know what my faith was going to look like moving forward. I didn't know if um, there was a church where I would even feel safe in again, to be completely honest. It was about three years ago. I said to my husband, we're going to St. Luke's and I'm going to find God. And if I can't find the truth here, then I have to be done. I was kind of job hunting at the time and found an open position here in the youth department and also at the front desk. And the more I looked into St. Luke's, the more I realized, wait, maybe this is the kind of church that I've been hoping that I would find. It's been a place for me to begin to heal, um, to reframe what I believe theologically. I do have kids and they come here as well. And I feel good that they're coming to church in an environment where they are taught to be inclusive of all people and that God's love and His plan um, is for everyone. St. Luke's is the model church for what we should be. It is a true sanctuary. It is a place where everyone is welcome, period. No if, no but, period.